Hello guys and welcome to our look at Desktop Dungeons. With me as always is Daz, you alright? Hello, yeah I'm good. So this is a game that's just come out on Steam, I think it came out yesterday mate. Um, and it's about £10 of 80 or your region equivalent. Um, it's described as a quick play roguelike dungeon crawling puzzle fest or something equivalent to that. So we're going to dive in and have a look around. Sounds exciting. Um, you get to name your kingdom, so we've gone for uh, Rage Quitdom, that, uh, okay. that well-known medieval, uh, yeah. I mean it's, it sounds authentic. It sounds authentic, yeah, definitely. Anyway, shit, let's get on. The story begins. Creatures attacked in the night, the caravan was unprepared, travellers had been warned about the unexpected realms, but pride often plays tricks on reason. Flames and blood engulfed the defenders, nomads, exiles and vagabonds with only a handful of real fighters among them. That's you, dude. Uh, me? Vagabond or real fighter? Uh, I'm not going to answer that. Thank you. Injured, ill-trained and separated from one another, many of the survivors had no choice but to press on into a nearby network of maze-like caverns. <gasps> okay, so here we are. Magnus... Dungeon is something with the text going off the side of the screen. He looks like a handsome chap that is an impressive nose. Handsome, handsome chap. Handsome. Mm -hmm. um, I know from this game that you're supposed to reveal blocks and you get back some of your hit points, so I'm guessing that with one hit point, I don't really want to go charging into the goblin. Goblin. Oh, uh, look at him pretty. But you can see, look, next hit, yeah, death. death. Well, with one hit point, not so bad. Um, so let's go and, and get back some. Oh, well, now you have a chance. Now, now we're going to go charging in. Next hit, safe. Next hit, win. Hit Done. Little goblin face. Done. He's going, Magnus. He's done himself proud. He's taken out a goblin, and he's just, he's just moving on. He's taking out the next one. These goblins are so pretty. Pretty. Yeah, pretty. Oh, beautiful zombie. That's quite the smile. <laughs> <laughs> Look wide-eyed and a big smile. He, he's ready for his photo to be taken. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at look at this, Meat Man. That's how many copyright infringements is that breaking in one one thing? Not not at all. It's a different name. Doesn't look like uh, splitting a hairs. boy who is super and made of meat. No, he's a meat man. Meat I suppose. Man. I suppose that's the difference. It's a, look, he was a boy. Now he's a man. Meat man. And this is a level two goblin. He, this guy does not 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 mess about at all. He does eight hit points per attack, but he still gets owned. Magnus, he's on a roll. He he's, is on a roll. Uh, oh. Pick up all these things. I guess they all just correspond to these. Yep. So we've got ten percent bonus to damage. Ten percent bonus to to sort of hit points and a mana. Just one mana? One Ooh. singular mana. What's this? A spell burns your enemies for four magic points of damage, excuse me, and slowing their regeneration. And it's called Burn Day Rays. Okay, fine. Oh, you got some trouble coming. What are these? Oh, oh, oh. oh God, I think I was supposed to... Friend, so, friendly little goo. Jesus Christ. Right. Friendly? They're not friendly. Look at the look at the face. Look at the little face on there. It's like it just wants to be friends. Uh, it, it it its face is literally showing no emotion. Yeah, that's a friendly face. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! It wasn't threatening, now was it? It was showing absolutely nothing. It was given. It was hiding, hiding its emotions. What's this? Mana it's potion. Mana. Fine. Let's um, let's go around it. Look, there's another one. I'm just. Not dealing with this. Glue, goo is just horrible anyway. Gooey blobs. Just get rid of him. Oh, level three. Pendant of oh, mana. Congrats, eh? Thank you. I dinged. <laughs> I dinged. <laughs> it was momentous. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's another one of you. Get out of there. Got a level four zombie. What's this? Go near it. A sensation stone. Sensory stone that completely inert at first, but yields great rewards after conversion. Okay, fine. Convert it. Done. Ah. Did you get some hit points? No. Hum your current conversion points, humans get a 10% attack bonus for every 100, 100 points. So that was worth 150. So I've got 50 to, oh yeah, 50 towards the next conversion. Fine. 
Um, Meat Boy, you're going down. God damn, son of a bitch. What's this guy? A warlock. Holy hell. And he hits Can for 24? No, no way. Not having any of that. What about this warlock? Oh, I can totally have this guy. Win. Next attack, win. Another one, just like the Great. other one. Just take them out. I've had all of their names. What the hell is it? Take them off. It's a goat. Why is there a goat? See now, you can't kill that. That surely is friendly. <laughs> surely that's the one thing you should be killing, rather than just wiping out God knows. I mean, these guys were just hanging out. I've come into their home and have just wiped out everyone they okay, know. Okay, no, 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 you're right. That is the odd one out. Everything else lives in dark, like, cavernous holes. A goat shouldn't be there at all, Jeanette. But what is a goat doing there? You're, you're a farmer. We were in a caravan. We probably kill goats just to, just okay. from, you know, just to, for a bit of nom-noms. Okay. This guy's just gone in there and go, I want goat, and has killed everything he's come across. Okay. Starting off with the children, the weakest, the weakest, and then progressing up to those that are actually able to defend themselves after he's fed on the souls of their children. Yeah, be careful, that goat. It's a level five goat. It is a level five goat. Level five goat. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but I also love the ridiculousness of it. Um, you take all. Oh. Who am I supposed to take on now? Oh, meat boy. boy. You're, you're blatantly there to level me. Chuck a couple of fireballs in your face. You can actually tell he's a, he's a meat man, not a meat boy anymore, because as a meat boy, he was bouncing off the walls. <laughs> and now he's just stood there and now he, took it. Now he's an adult. He's past the stages <laughs> of ADHD. <laughs> he no longer suffers. His Ritalin has solved everything for him. Uh, Right, let's go and take you out, because I feel like I need to. Um, this goat is gonna is it's pro gonna properly gonna kill me. Um, so, oh, I thought this map. No, more map to explore. Oh god, yeah. Gimme, gimme. Oh, definitely me, boy. Oh, now I can take on the goat. You can. Um, right, fine. Fireball the goat. Keep fireballing the goat. I don't want to get near it. I want it. I want it brazed. Get in there. Da, 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 da. That's like the highest quality graphic I've seen in ages. Why were you telling so, me to go there? Right, exit. Goat horn. Um, no, we don't want to do the tutorial. Tutorials are for scrubs. Um, so we're just going to keep going. Bravely forward. Oh look at that! The the kingdom of rage quickdom, the aftermath. Many perished in the days and weeks following the attack. Some were slaughtered by cave denizens. Others became trapped or lost. Stronger survivors prevailed against the darkness, banding together to establish a crude outpost in the heart of the wilderness. If this fledgling settlement is to survive beyond its first few weeks, its people will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep enemies at bay. This is where your job begins. That's it. No no villages or anything ever started unless there were heroes around to protect them. Okay, heroes. This is based on real life. Okay. As the elected administrator of this rabble, it will be up to you to expand the settlement and to recruit the heroes needed to defend your people. Oh, look at that! Is that, a, is that a little village? Well, it's very little. I mean, look, this guy's just in a tree house here. So where, were, so, so where were they living before? They were just in a caravan. Ah, okay. Like a Winnebago. Okay, so they were actually going somewhere, but they've decided to make a, a little village in the middle of the wilderness. Maybe they were gypsies. Okay. Or those Irish travellers, and they've just decided to settle. Okay. Most honourable administrator, I've been elected by the good people of this settlement to tell you what to do in order to tell everyone else what to do. Right, good God. Um, you may consider me an advisor of sorts. Your new position gives you responsibility over the collected funds and efforts. This represents the resources we've managed to scrounge together so far. Your current task is to ensure our survival, so I recommend investing our limited funds in training and arming some real defenders. Fine. Let's do that. Oh, look. I've got a fighter. Woohoo! 
upgrade complete. Administrator, remember this moment well, for you have taken your first tentative steps down a long and glorious path. Under your guidance, these survivors will build a kingdom to challenge the gods themselves. Well, Jesus. That's a statement, isn't it? It's a definite statement. Un class unlocked fighter. Okay. Clicking and spending, noble administrator, you have unlocked the fighter class. These hardy warriors are superior to common guards in several ways. They excel in hunting down opponents and gaining experience quickly. Fine. Holy crap, what's all this rubbish? Our scouts have discovered some monster lairs in the surrounding area. It's time to fight them. Uh, let's have our heroes load up and move out. They can return when they have some monster heads and or some other souvenirs of victory. Fine. Okay. So we're going to go collect monster heads. Monster heads. Okay. Where should we go? We've got Cave of a Thousand Cuts, the Badlands. I think there might be a goat in there. Maybe. Or Vince's vault. Um, uh, uh, somewhere maybe easy. But they're all easy. Pick <laughs> okay. one. Pick. Uh, we'll go to the... What was the middle one? Badlands. The Badlands. Badlands. Yeah, the Badlands. Let's go find Oh, it. look, yes. There's a boss. There, there's a boss. A boss. There's a boss. There's a boos. We do love booses. There's a boos a bit. The boos. <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly went Scottish there. Right, so. Choose a race. I think we're going to choose humans. Um, and I think for this one, I'm going to choose a fighter. What's this? What's auto advance do? Select the same dungeon racing class as your last run of effect. Okay, fine. Whatever. Okay. Well, let's play. Oh my days. There's goblins and gold and shit in all directions. You're playing as a human fighter. Humans get 10% attack bonus for every... Oh, yeah, we know this. Indeed. And then... Yeah. Oh, right, okay, but the class has the following abilities. Instincts, Mon monsters of an equal or lower level always have their locations revealed. Okay, so that's what that, those things are. Better when you get one extra experience per monster kill, leveling faster. Uh, and Pit Dog, you start with one standard level of death protection on the character. I think that means that if, you're, if you would die, you don't. But it, you know, you l get left with like one hit point or something. Get up to date information, fine. Let's just go and. Like Let's oh. just take all these guys out. Can I kill that one now? Yes. Oh, oh ding! Like a goddamn boss. Uh, take him out. Uh, let's take this guy out because I'm pretty sure. Yes. And then we can take this guy out. Barely win. Oh, don't use my death protection. Oh, you didn't mean barely win. You mean use my death protection. Great. So now we're really... Oh, that's like the class you bonus. You only use it once? Yeah. Oh, dear. Why is that not picking up? Pick up. Bam. Dun, dun. Meat boy, we meet again. You die again. What's this spell? Destroy a dungeon wall and temporarily gain a 20% physical resistance this effect will stack fine so that might be useful especially when you've got the boss and the second one we definitely don't need a second one so we can get rid of that fireball spells so there seems to be there's not a huge variety in spells but then this is designed for like 10 minutes so i mean okay. you, get rid of that get rid of that get rid of all the doubles because then it just keeps adding to my my ability stack there. I'm going to set fire to this guy and then hit him in the face. And then these guys are quite low. Kill you. Kill you. Oh, look at that. Just taking them on. Look at this line. What the hell? There's a party going on over here. Just walk up there, take them all down, one by one. It's like, it's like there's a catwalk. I want to go. Is there a fashion parade? Why haven't I been invited? What's going on? A, a little goblin fashion parade. Look at them all. They were just... Me man. Why are they all... They're all just there, aren't they? What the hell? Get owned. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Meet boy. Meet this. Zombie. Return to your deathly whatever the hell. Grave. Money. Oh, this is going well. I can see why they might have called it easy though. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get wrecked, zombie. Fine. Look at all this. 
goat. We meet again. Five goats. He says, let him land one hit. Well, he is going to hit me for 75. So, no. <laughs> um, so, I want to think about that for a second. I'm going to pick up that get in there. Um, right, fine. Uh, if I take one of these and do that again, I've got a huge amount of damage resistance now. So I can survive at least two hits, I reckon. And look at me, I'm going to knock huge amounts of his hit points okay. off. What about there? Uh, oh, so very close. Get in there. And then just because we're so pro, if we do get in there now, look, first strike, I'm not even going to get hit. Yay! Like a goddamn bolt. And you're feeding the village. Feeding the village with my goat horn. The goat horn. <laughs> so what's wrong with the rest of the goat? I don't know, they just like the horn. They just do like the horn, do they? They love it. Oh, look at all this! It gives you a nice little summary. Everything. Earnings, goat horns, excellent. Gold carried out. Health potion sold because I made it out without it. Look at that. That's amazing. Trophy hunting complete. Victory! Your hero parades through the muddy streets of your rapidly growing settlement. Goat horn clasped in one mailed fist. Rose petals and jubilant shouts alike fill the air as the to townsfolk, townsfolk are gone Scottish again. Come out to celebrate. Amidst the glee, a lone figure approaches you and as you recline in your administrator's parade viewing chair. Um, He's a beautiful little He man. is a bit of a special case. What is that? I think he is like stitched together. That's not normal. Hi there, I can't help but notice the sheer amount of fun you're having with all that chunk of monster skull. I happen to have a business proposal related to that. This may seem rather forward, but I was once a renowned taxidermist. Oh, right, what? Mm. In the surrounding realms. And I know a lot of rich buyers who would love a mounted beastie of some kind hanging over their fireplace. Bragging rights, you see. Long story short, wish you'd started with that. Um, I'd like to buy that trophy from you. I have the gold right here. Fine. We all need some regular income, absolutely. Trophy sold. 150 big ones. Woo! Excellent. Guild expansion. Right, okay. So you can upgrade and get priests, or upgrade and get wizards, or upgrade and get th thieves. Lovely old job. Well, anyway, I think that we're going to leave that there for now. Um, so, guys, let's see what know what you think I think it's a pretty good game it's quite good I like it I like the way that you have to go around and, and find the right ways of doing things mm -hmm. to sort of balance things out in that, that respect I can see why they think it's a puzzle um, mm -hmm. also there's random dungeons and I've seen some of the screenshots of some of those I mean they are random You, you they aren't designed for you to be able to kill them necessarily <laughs> they, they just randomly they can properly mess you up um, which is quite funny so there's a lot of replayability about this um we're also considering doing a series on this, so if this is something you'd like to see more of, do drop us a, a comment down below. And don't forget to like and, and subscribe if you want to see more. Yay! Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Enthusiasm. Yes! Right, okay guys, we'll see you later. Take care. Bye! Bye!